Hey everyone, it's Pat from Pat's Have Music and today we are learning 10 pop songs with one finger. Always comment below what you want to see and I'll definitely try and make that happen. Now you're probably wondering why are we learning how to play songs with one finger? Okay, well with each example, I'm going to show you how, if you're just starting out, how to use one finger. Once you've started out with the one, using one finger, I'm going to show you how to use two fingers and even how to use some of the five sort of starting chords that I suggested. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check out that link. But otherwise, grab your guitars. If you want to dive to a particular song, head out in the comment section. There's the first top pinned comment. Shows you all the different times of the songs. But otherwise, let's get started. Grab your guitars. So the first song we're checking out by the weekend is Can't Feel My Face. Okay, let's check that out. So coming in, it's just three different notes or three different chords in this whole song. So let's check it out. You've got your first finger here on the third fret of the sixth string. That's the G. Then the next note, or the next sort of starting note of the chord is F, so you go back to the first fret, same string. And then, you know what, you can even just play the fifth string open. And then again. That's it. But if you want it a little bit meatier, try and do the first two notes, the third fret, then the first fret. Then drop your first finger down to the second fret on the fourth string and play the fifth and the fourth string open together. So you play them open together. So it'll ring out like a like an A power chord. That sounds a bit better, doesn't it? Two, three, four, two, three, four. Now, if you do know your basic sort of starting chords, that five uh, chord video from before, you can play a G, an F, A minor. A minor again. That's the whole song. G, two, three, F, two, three, A minor, two, three, A minor. Entire song. If that's a little bit complicated, but you do know some power chords, check out this video if you don't know power chords, try and turn them into power chords. So third fret on the sixth string power chord, then back to the first fret, then drop down to that open fifth string, second fret, fourth string. Three, and again, two, power chord, third fret. Two, three, first fret, and power chord. Two, two, two. That's it. So you can play it with one finger, you can play it with two fingers power chords, or you can play it with three fingers as chords. Great job. That is literally the entire song. Well done. Let's check out the next one. The next song by Australian band Birds of Tokyo is Anchor. Fantastic song. I'm going to show you how to use it one finger and then how to use two fingers as well. With all of these songs, try and use one finger. Once you've got that, try and use two. Once you've got that, try and learn the full chords. Here we go, grabbing your guitar. So you're going to come in here on the third fret of the fifth string. That's your C note. Then move it up two frets, same string, fifth fret. Quickly back to the third fret. So it sounds like this. That's the starting bit. Great. Then go back to the fifth fret. Quickly to the first on the same string. That's it. And then five, three. So you've got C, D, C, D, A sharp, D, C, and it starts again. Five, three, five, one, five, three. If you can, try power chords. that's the main part of the verse there. That's sounding really good. Great job. Now, if you want to make it sound a little bit more uh, musical and not just fifths, you know, written fifths power chords, try this. Try and have your, your uh, second and first finger like this. You can even play the open G string if you want. So you've got second finger, first finger, open G. Then make an opposite power chord. So you've got your third finger on the fifth, first finger on the third fret. Back to that first chord. So let's do that again. Then back to that opposite power chord, fifth fret. Normal power chord on the first fret. Opposite power chord. First chord. So it just fills it out a little bit better. If you were playing full chords, you could play C, D minor, C, B flat major. Okay, so the next song is Somebody Like You by Adele. A little bit tricky, but we're gonna try. 
with two fingers. I'm gonna show you how you can use it with one finger and with two fingers. So coming right in, grab your guitars. Have your first finger here on the second fret of the fourth string and you play the fifth string and the fourth string at the same time. That's your A sort of power chord. Now if you can try and use two fingers, use your third finger and put it all the way up there on the fourth fret of the sixth string. Try and play the sixth string, the fifth string, and the fourth string at the same time. If that's a bit hard, it's a bit of a leading chord there, you can just sort of move your first finger up to the fourth fret on the sixth string to get that A sharp. If that makes sense, otherwise. Great job. Then what you wanna do is move your first finger up to the second fret on the sixth string and you play that fret and the open uh, fifth string as well. So you get that F sharp minor sound. And then drop all the way down and have your first finger on the second fret of the third string and play the fourth string open as well and you get a bit of a D power chord happening. Let's go through the whole thing. So A, then stretch, G sharp over A, F sharp minor, D. Start again, jump up. With one finger. And again, A. G sharp over A, F sharp minor, D. That's great. So if you know them as, if you already know the full chords, which is great, you can play the A major there. Stretch up to get your pinky to try and get that G sharp in as well. Then you can play F sharp minor, then D major. But that's the verse and the chorus. Great job. The next part we're checking out is the pre-chorus. So the pre-chorus, come in with your first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, play those two frets open get E, jump up a string and then you've got the F sharp minor, play those two strings. Then drop down and you get the D major again, D power chord, and play the D power chord again. So that's the pre-chorus, so you got E, F sharp minor, D, D, and then you go over to the chorus. So you come up with the A, jump up a string to E, jump up to F sharp, down to D. That's it again. A, up a string, up a string, bound to D. And if you know those chords, you can play A, E major, F minor, D major. And you can do a bit of strumming if you want for the chorus as well. Next song was Superheroes by the script. Again, I'll show you one finger, then two finger for method. Grab your guitars. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is coming here on the fourth fret of the sixth string. That's it. And then drop all the way down to the sixth fret on the fifth string. Back to the third fret on the fifth string. Then back to the first fret on the fifth string. Two, three, four, two, third fret. Back to first fret, and one more time. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. That will be the one finger method. That's the, the verse, the intro, the chorus. That's the majority of the song. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more challenging for yourself, try power chords. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Three. And then for the chorus, you can strum it out a little bit, bit more. Okay, does that make sense so far? Then we're gonna do something a little bit different because that's the majority of the song. Let's make it a little bit trickier. So come in here and put your uh, second finger on the fourth fret of the sixth string and your first finger below that on the third string. Play those both, both those strings. So then you're getting more of that G sharp sort of vibe going on. So once you've got that, the next chord is your first finger on the first fret of the fourth string. Make that into a power chord. Then you've got D major or D, the D, power, D sharp power chord there. Then move your third finger up to the third fret on the fifth string. More of a C minor sound. And then reverse it and make it into a normal power chord on the first fret of the fifth string. So you've got first chord, fourth fret, sixth string. Drop down to 1st fret 4th string, reverse it, 
normal power chord. Start again. That's the majority of the song, fantastic. Now if you can play bar chords, again, quite tricky, play G sharp major, D sharp major, C minor, A sharp major over here. Start again. Majority of the song done. Great job. Moving on. Possibly one of the harder songs that we've done. Lots of fun to play. So it's We Are Done by the Madden Brothers. We're going to learn that main riff that's throughout the song and, and starts out the song and then the end of sort of the tagline of the verses after the chorus. Really fun to play, but it is quite tricky. We're going to be playing it with one finger, then I'm going to show me how to play it with two fingers, your first and your third finger specifically. So let's jump in and use your first finger on the second fret. Now also what's going to happen is I'm going to be talking about alternate picking, which means down, up, down, up. That's what's going to help you get that sound. If you're just down picking at the moment, you haven't tried up picking, this is a good song to start, or really try and, and learn and work on that. So let's start it out now. So you want your first finger on the second fret of the sixth string. Drop down, fantastic, you're pretty much halfway there. So it's quite quick to begin with. Then you want your first finger to drop down another string and go to the fourth fret. So fourth string, fourth fret. And you want to play that five times. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Quite quick, isn't it? One, two. One, two, three, four, five. That's all that there is to it. Now, it's quite quick, so definitely take your time and just try playing along with a song. Try just playing it the, the notes twice. Once you've got twice, try three times. Four times. five times. Okay, now what's going to make this easier is using your third finger for the last note. So first finger, first finger, third finger. Then it's less of a jump. You don't have to worry about where your first finger is flying up and down the neck. That's it. Great job for learning that riff. Next one. Next song we're learning is John Mayer's Paper Doll and we're just doing the riff that comes out all throughout the verse and throughout the song, the riff there. I'm playing on acoustic, but it'll sound awesome if you've got an electric as well. So what you want to do is come in on your uh, the first finger all the way up there on the 10th fret. So we're all the way up on the 10th fret. Then you want to, now this is the tricky bit, you can come up with your first finger on the 12th fret of the second string, and slide back to the 10th. So you play, so you pick the note, and then you slide. What I do recommend though is if you've got that and that's not too bad and you're able to perform that quite quickly, try it with your first finger and then your third finger and pulling off to your first. Like that. It'll, it's a little bit more efficient, it'll make a little bit more sense. Great job. Now once you've got that, once you've got that part, you then play the 12th fret on the on the third string there. Great. Excellent. So we're doing a pull off there or again, you could do the slide if you want. Once you've got that pull off down, Jump up to the 10th fret on the 4th string, and then you play the 10th fret, and then you play the open 3rd string. Then you go back a fret to the 9th fret. Then you move up to the 10th fret on the 5th string, and you would start again. Does it make sense? So that 10th fret, the last note, is actually the first note in the beginning of the riff again. So we'll do it nice and slow. If you are 
having trouble with the open strings, the 10th and the 9th, make that a bit of an exercise and play that all over the neck. So just pick any fret on any string and try and play the string below it as well. You know, like the... Um, sort of like that uh, the Rolling Stones song. But once you've got that, just practice it nice and slow. Great job, excellent, moving on to the next one. The next song that we're checking out, it was a big hit, and these guys used to be, you know, I guess you'd call them more of a metal band, hardcore rock band, uh, Linkin Park, Shadow of the Day. I would call that a pop song, definitely. Okay, so that's what we're checking out. So it's just got the four chords there. I'll show you one finger, then power chords. Let's check it out right now. So coming in here, you wanna have your first finger on the fourth fret of the sixth string, that's your G sharp note. Back two frets, F sharp. Then just drop down your first finger and then play those open two strings, the sixth string and the fifth string. And you get E, and then play that last one again. So that's it, fourth fret. Second fret, then drop down. That's the majority of the song, and you could play it that way, but if you want to make it a little bit more interesting, let's dive in and, and sort of fill out those chords a little bit more. So what you could do is you could do an opposite power chord, so you have your third finger up on the fourth fret of the sixth string, then you have your first finger on the second fret. That gives it more of that G sharp minor feel. Then you reverse it, so you just move your third finger down a string, move your first finger up a string, get F sharp power chord. Then just drop your first finger down and play those open two strings again. Or if you want a challenge, you can move your second finger under it and play the three strings. Get a bit bigger, more of an E chord. Go again. Then sort of in the chorus, it brings more of a strum into it. If you do know the full bar chords, you can play G sharp minor, back to F sharp major, then E major, E major again, G sharp minor, Well done, that's it. Let's check out the next one. So now we're checking out a now we're checking out a big hit for Imagine Dragons, Radioactive. I'll show you one finger method and then full-on chords. Let's dive in. So you want to have your first finger here on the second fret of the fifth string, play that on the open fourth string. If you sort of that B minor sort of feel, drop down two strings with your first finger and you've got a D power chord. Jump up one string and play those two strings, fifth and fourth string, and you've got an A power chord. Great. And then jump up a string again, and you've got an E power chord. How good is that? And then as soon as you start, you're already ready to go. Just don't play the sixth string, play the fifth string. So fifth and fourth, jump down two strings, D. Up a string, up a string. That's the entire song. Down two strings, up a string, up a string. Fantastic. Now if you want to play this in power chords, you can play it on the second fret, up to the fifth fret up a string, then back and play that open. So if you want to play it in full bar chords, you can play the B minor like that, or you could just play a B power chord. Then D major, A major, E major, whole song, B minor, D major, A major, E major. Well done, that's great. Next one. Next song is Pompeii by Bastille. Definitely try out the one finger method, then really, really try and do the two finger and the full chord method. It'll make it the chorus sound a little bit bigger. Let's dive into it. So coming in here, come in with your first finger here on the second fret of the third string. Play that with the open fourth string above. All right, so that gives you a bit of a D chord. Then you jump up, you've got an A power chord there. Jump all the way up to the 2nd fret and the 6th string and play that and the 5th string open. Then drop down and play the E power chord. So all the way back to D, up a string to A, 
then second finger onto the second fret six string for F sharp, drop down, and again D, upper string A, then F sharp minor, down string to E. Now, that's the majority of the song if you play those four chords, but they are sounding a little bit thin, so let's thicken them up a little bit. So now what you want to try and do is play a full D major chord, then A major, then you could try and play an F sharp power chord, that would sound good, or thicken it into a bar chord if you can, then E major. Now that's going to make the chorus sound a little bit bigger. If that's too tricky, try and use two fingers. Let's check that out. So what you want to do is have your first finger where it was before for D, but this time use the second finger as well. Play those three strings. Makes it sound a little bit bigger, doesn't it? Then try again for A, but use your second finger there. Then this time try a power chord for F sharp minor. Then two fingers for E. Just makes it that little bit thicker. And then if you can, do a mixture. Great job. Okay, next song is Cool Kids by Echo Smith. We're gonna learn a little bit of the starting riff there. So you come in with your first finger here on the first fret, fourth fret, jump down to the sixth fret, then up to the eighth fret, All the way back to the first fret, third fret. So what we got? One, two. Then first fret, same string. Back to the first fret. Then all the way up to the sixth fret. I'll play it, then I'll slow it down. Here's what it sounds like. So first fret, then fourth fret, sixth fret, then eighth fret. One, three, one, six. Great job. Now, what's gonna make it a little bit easier is if you use two fingers. So one, first finger, fourth finger, first finger, third finger, first finger, third finger, first finger, first finger. Gonna make it a little bit easier there, but that's it. Great job for making it to the end. If there are particular songs that you want me to show you how to play with one finger, the riffy songs, definitely comment below. If you like this video, give it a like. If there's other genres that you want me to check out, definitely check them out. But otherwise, in the description below, there is now, and I'll link them after the end of this video as well, this is the fourth video. So you've got 40 different songs you can play with one finger. Definitely check them out. If you haven't checked out the first video, check out the first 10. Second video, check out the second 10 and the other ones I will link in the description below. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. I've been Pat from Bad Day Music. See you all again, bye.